All right, guys, it's Monday. I got back from Colorado on uh, Sunday. Wait, today's Tuesday. I got back from Colorado on Sunday. Uh, my transmission went out on the way. I milked it all the way home. My wife's transmission went out in her van last week. And uh, so, luckily, because of the Ramsey plan, we had enough money and savings to buy a new vehicle. This is a Yukon that we bought from some family friends of mine. And uh, it's been well taken care of. It's way nice. So now I gotta buy a truck so I can go pick up antler and stuff. But it's, uh, I guess it could be worse, you know? We had a little bit of cash on hand. We had a little bit more in savings. So we should be able to get the vehicles that we need. And then we can start rebuilding our savings accounts. But I get to hang out with these turkeys today. Hi, boys. Can do us anything. Yeah, that's right. That's what I said too. Well, I'm headed to Arizona tonight. As soon as uh, my wife gets off work and everything, I'm gonna probably be down there for a yeah. couple days, chasing elk in Unit 10. So yeah. keep watching. We're gonna do a lot of fun things. All right. I'm gonna need to get some fuel. On the road. This is uh, Tuesday night, I believe darker than dark in here and I don't got a light so I guess you're gonna get audio only anyway uh, Tuesday night I'm headed down to uh, Arizona my buddy's got two days left on his elk tag limited entry Arizona muzzleloader elk tag and uh, they've been having a having a tough hunt it's been really warm the weather hasn't been cooperating like they want it to so I'm gonna drive all night it's about 8 45 right now and I got about five hours ahead of me crash out for a few hours then we're gonna get up in the morning and go hunt hopefully find him a big bull he's waited a lot of years for a good tag and uh, hopefully we can get one get capitalized on it you know I love this kind of stuff I've always loved that just get in and go in the middle of the night and I live for this kind of adventure so I'm just gonna vlog this trip uh, my buddy's name's Chris he's a videographer and he's uh, affiliated with the uh, Under Armour and Ridge Reaper and so he'll probably do a professional video, but I'm just gonna kind of do a video of my trip and if I pick up any sheds and just kind of keep you guys posted on what I'm doing. So uh, I think it's gonna be a good time. This is a good group of dudes, so stay tuned. I just zoomed in so far. Anyway, I drove to Arizona last night. Got here at about 2 a.m. Got up at about 5 a.m. Um, I just got to this glassing point overlooking these two tanks. So, this is a late muzzleloader elk hunt. My buddy Chris has a tag been having a tough hunt um, this is a really good unit but the the temperature has things messed up it's been too warm and not getting into much elk action so I've got a couple days here before the hunt ends and hopefully we can find him a good bull so, feels like all I do is drive and hunt anymore but I'm not complaining <laughs> We hiked up onto a point to glass for the evening and right as soon as <clears throat> me and Sam got up on this point we looked down below us and there was a big bull and a raghorn right below us really good bull especially for what these guys have been seeing out here um, looked like he had a split sword on the ones had big long beams um, really flat beamed cool looking bull wide I'm sure at this point he's a shooter we glassed and we watched him go clear across and into the trees over there and um, 
pretty sure we have a, a good idea of where he is. We didn't see him come out of those trees at all, so we're gonna watch and hopefully Chris can get in there and put a move on this thing, but it'd be awesome to get it done on a bull like that. That's a great looking bull, so. Well, that big bull gave us the slip. He uh, never really came out where Chris could get a look at him and we tried guiding him in, but it's just kind of hard to, hard to do from this far away, so. We're gonna get up here in the morning, we're gonna glass again and see if we can't turn it back up. And a lot of fun though looking at a bull like that. He's a really cool bull, really good bull. So we'll get back, we're gonna sleep out here in the dirt, roll out the canvas cutters and go to bed. And tomorrow morning we're gonna, we're gonna find this bull and we're gonna shoot him. Watch, I'm calling it right now. Well, we got back to camp and uh, we got the eats going on. Um, that's all step one, food planned ahead and brought a wholesome variety of good things to eat so this is what we're doing tonight denti more on the camp chef with uh santitas which as we all know are two dollars a bag my favorite too dude they're good huh the cheap ones so we got on that bowl tonight about got her done i think i gave you guys a wrap up on the hill of what happened but we're gonna camp here fairly close to where the bowl's at instead of going back and sleeping in the hotel because we're hardcore and uh, in the morning, we're going to go out and get it down on that bowl. Chris is going to hammer it at first light. We're going to be eating backstrap by probably 11 o'clock. So stay tuned. It's going to stay exciting. I'll stay, stay tuned like 100 times, like begging people, please keep watching my videos. Please. Well, I think the big bull Mo showed us. Couldn't glass them up this morning. We saw three smaller bulls. Chris saw two, and we saw one over here. Um, smaller six-point, and then a busted-up bull that... Chris isn't isn't willing to settle. He's uh, got his expectations, and good for him. Um, hopefully, we can find him this good bull. We're gonna keep glassing here. He just kind of went out of hike out on this rim and looking off into these little pockets, seeing if he can get eyes on a good bull. We're gonna stay here and keep glassing through the morning, and hopefully, between all of us, we'll come up with uh, with a bull worth putting the herd on. Seems like these things always come down to the wire. It's the last morning, tonight's the last evening, so. Just glassed up our bowls down here below me on the hill. I can't see how good they are. I'm gonna get the spotter out and look at them and see if there's a ball in here worth shooting for Chris. So hopefully get a little bit of phone scope footage for you guys and check them out. I just heard a shot up the canyon. It wasn't Chris. Um, as soon as I heard a shot, a bull came running out of that canyon. He's just a raghorn, but it might be that bull that was with the big bull that we saw last night. It looks just like it. Got a big, long spike, and he's actually gonna run under me right here at about 300 yards. No big bull came out of there, so I don't know if they shot at this raghorn that's going by me, but I'm gonna try to get him on camera, and you guys can look at him right here.
Well, it's come to an end. It almost happened right there at dark. Finally found the bulls, just couldn't close the gap quite enough. That's what happens, that's the way the game is. Eight days later, how you feel? <laughs> Wish we'd have found some bulls six days ago, we'd have got one. Yeah, no kidding. It's the way it always goes, finally getting into the elk rise as things wrapping up. But... It is what it is, they live another day and all we can do now is think about it.